Well, my new film, Scars of Youth, is many things, you know. It's, uh, I guess, simply put, uh, a very kind of experimental, far-out uh, science fiction tale. It's uh, about a young man uh, in the middle of the woods in this kind of um, futuristic wasteland 200 years from now. And he's all alone. He's living in, in the uh, a cabin in the woods, and he's crowded in by not people, by but by trees, by this kind of insane, strange growth that's all around him in this kind of blue world. And he's pretty much all alone in this world, except for his mother, who is now living away from him in this kind of broken down industrial complex and she's drinking this kind of black fluid which is kind of prolonging her life which is kind of keeping her going and this is kind of uh, what a lot of people are doing in this futuristic world but this fluid kind of uh, puts puts them in this kind of uh, drug-like haze where they begin to kind of lose their minds and as they're kind of living and living and living uh, they become withdrawn and also physically they uh, these uh, scars these these kind of scabby like chrysalis begins to form over their bodies so that uh, uh, they they become like uh, you know walking uh, mummies you know so this young man he's trying to uh, get his mother out of this situation trying to get her away from the youth cult and the black fluid and this stuff. At the same time, he's trying to come to terms with this insane world that he's living in, which doesn't seem to make sense to him anymore. It's a it's a dark coming of age tale, a, a futuristic uh, type story, and it's in keeping with the the weirdness and the strangeness that I I, I like to uh, imbue, imbue in stuff, you know. And it was also just and and it's another. I think from the onset, I I really had the feeling that it was going to be a very personal type story. It wasn't going to be something that, uh, well, you know, it's it's not uh, the work of a group of people. It's not uh, you know filmmaking by committee. I mean, I think one of the reasons you know to you want you want to make a, a film all by yourself, you want to kind of be a, a one man band. And I'm not always a, against collaboration. I mean, I I love it, but. Um, on th with this particular idea, that there was it was a personal uh, you know component to it, and not personal by by way of um, you know the stuff in the film that uh, you know is happening you know to me. It's personal in a way that I, I can't even admit to, maybe quite admit to myself because there's this very strange relationship between the mother and the son. They they're the same age, and there's something very. Um, very, very unusual about that. And it, as the film goes on, it develops in a, in a way that uh, is very, very, very uh, unusual. But it, in a very loving way, I think. Which might just illustrate how really out of my mind uh, I really am. But, you know, Beyond that, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, you, you know, it's just something you gotta see and, uh, and like or dislike or um, think about it, whatever you will. You know? This is not, uh, as I said before, it's not filmmaking by committee. This is, uh, you know, JRH Films, you know, which is my initials. It's almost like a bit, you know, a signature on it. This is it, you know. This is it. Love it or leave it. <laughs> but I, I hope you love it.